Every child could sing verses about the Sky Ripper, but ancient codices held hints of other things. A stone that ate souls, a ruby that drank blood, a jewel only a righteous man could give away. Were all these things the Iblis Stone? Long hidden in a buried temple, another ancient item that was only resurfacing now, drawn up from the deeps by the Emperor's horrific rituals, Welcome back everyone. Back to this little funny game. <laughs> if you remember there was where I ran in circles for a while. Got a nice little achievement. Ah, I can actually see up there in the corner <laughs> how much I have. That's interesting. Uh, should have noticed that before. A lot of stuff, though. Renato had heard stories of a dungeon where chests were filled with potions and weapons. Fairy tales. <laughs> right -o. Uh Oh, hello. Look at that. Huh. Okay, let's upgrade. Upgrade or. <coughs> or not. I can upgrade. This trusty old sword was always a little better when he sharpened it. Only so now we've got this green. Oh well. I bet there's a fight coming. The air here tasted bitter. The steps were too tall for a person. The entire place felt restless. Like it had been vexed to nightmare under the dust. Waiting for its hour to come around at last. Well... Who knows? Hello. Somehow this seems to know exactly where I am all the time. Those sheaves are really very well made, weren't they? They were really good. I hate every game where you uh, where you have to uh, Ravens were already here, cawing in frustration. They were still searching for a way in. Good. And he hadn't come too late. I hate any game that n that in order to defeat one enemy you have to do something else. Renato felt like he was ready to learn new things. <laughs> Thank goodness he didn't have to go to school for that. I think I never actually used <laughs> use that. Yes, please. <laughs> I gladly use that. Can I upgrade one more? Ah, sweet. Um. Hmm, that could be useful, but how about this one? This was way better than being able to shrink down to the size of an ant. What was that all about, anyway? What's that? Is that blood or what is it? Oh well, probably a sand. Hello. 
Thank you. Yay! <laughs> Lovely. If I could borrow a shield, that would be so lovely. And we leveled up. How lovely. Oh shit, that was my fire one. There we go. Renato Smash! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, apparently of uh, the Orkin Smash or whatever the fuck they say. Ah, shit. I need the uh, ice. Something. Ice sword. Really? It's nothing, okay. was really fun was hooking yourself onto a moving ship <laughs> okay let's not touch those I doubt I can do anything about it still haven't got an enemy any gems though I love how we always what's there? A gem! Woo! I think. Yeah, hey, it is a gem. How lovely. Okay, that's nice. You just have to remember to use energy. Uh, this way. Energy steers. No. Easy to dodge, but boy, do they sting if you didn't pay attention. They do indeed. They did indeed. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> And in a moment now. Any moment. Is that? That traps, yes. I wonder what happens if I just stand still. Might try that next mi mission. Shield. 
He splashed that motherfucker in too. You saw that? <laughs> <laughs> ah, this one was on the uh, trailer. <sighs> Only the that ravens part. at least could not get past this point. Obviously, the temple builders knew how to deal with tomb raiders. Obviously. Obviously, what's the word? Oh, that's lava. Oh, hello. I guess I see what I can do next time, I guess. Giddy yaddy, huh? really didn't have much in the way of safety features, did it? No, I would be very uncomfortable. I guess. That wasn't too hard. Then again, I don't think there's any... Hmm. It was a stone of the purest blackness. It reflected no light, like a void made solid. Nervous, he picked it up. Who said that? <laughs> it was the stone. Eager. Thirsty. Hmm. That seemed tempting and terribly wrong. Zenobia was the Emperor's greatest general and a potent witch. But they had been close once. And Renato wasn't sure he really wanted to be Emperor. Why not capture the core of Sky Ripper instead? It was the eye of a lost god torn out by the transcendent Emperor to power his greatest weapon. What's the core? Said the stone anxiously. I don't really know. <laughs> I gonna go I I can come back to these later on of course, but you know Stone bothered him. He hated being told what to do. Wasn't that why he joined the rebellion? Wasn't that why he'd refused to be a soldier? He'd agreed to come on board only if he could freelance. The stone felt a bit clingy. The sage Calaveras had told him where to find the Sky Ripper, a weapon capable of challenging the gods. Even without its armature, the core would still possess great power. He would go there. A 
Alright, so... Remember, I can always go back and do them all again. Yoo-hoo! And, you know, next time, maybe. Who knows? The moment he landed the Farfarer, Renardo had a rare feeling of regret. It's not too late, he thought. He could turn around and sail for Zenobia's island. He frowned. Wait a minute. He didn't want to kill Zenobia, did he? Sure, technically she was the enemy, but they'd been at sword food school together. They'd never been lovers, but somehow they'd been closer. She'd told him every secret about herself. Except the biggest one. That she was the Emperor's daughter. No, no. Kill Zenobia. Whispered the stone. I wonder what happens if we just stand still. I can just try, <laughs> just for shit and giggles. I'm gonna give it five minutes. <laughs> no, fuck it, not gonna wait. Don't have the time for that. I think I let it go two minutes. Hoped his hook didn't break. Yeah, I fucking hope that. I mean, woohoo! <laughs> Lovely music, though. Uh, okay. Yola de he, I guess. Another one would have broke his goddamn legs and yelled like a fucking baby. Screamed, I guess. There was something sour in the air. Like the earth had ruptured over something that had been fermenting for a very long time. I mean, it's flying planets, not flying planets, but you know, flying whatever. And they make these shitty bridges. I mean, I wouldn't go on them. <laughs> oh, good! I need a new rug for me nest, said the lead raven. Come on, you. That was a nice one. The stone hadn't lied about what it could do for him. With each raven he cut down, he felt a jolt of power flowing into his arm. You're weak, whispered the stone. The call will kill you. Are you afraid of it? <laughs> no, don't be ridiculous. It chuckled. But, but, but it's unstable. It will poison you if someone just carry it. And if you try to use it, it would explode catastrophically. Renardo did not trust rocks that talked in his head. He <laughs> went onwards. Help. Thank you. Wonder how much I can come up to, at least thirty, thirty one. Oh, 
combo break. Holy shit, I'm up in 80. Holy shit. He really wasn't making a dent in those shields. Up to 80? Holy shit, you can get a... Get very far up. Wow, 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 wow. You know, if I were here, I would try and get one of these rocks. You know, a tiny bit of it, just for shitting giggles, you know. Screenshot of that. Yep, screenshot of that. As he approached the core, the stone became hysterical. He had a sudden vision of plunging his gauntlet into the core and dying in anguish. That wasn't his vision, was it? The stone had sent him its darkest fears, hadn't it? He had a sudden impulse to do exactly that. He raised his right fist and plunged it into the core. There was a rush of light. He thought he could hear the stone screaming. And then he passed out. When Renato came to, the core was gone. But the Iblis stone was no longer black, but glowing with a blue light. And it was silent. I can't hear you, he sang out, and you! It didn't answer. Ha, he said. He had defeated the demonic gem with the power of his mind. Yeah. He felt invincible. It was time to attack the Imperial outpost on the Nexus. Take the battle to the enemy. But among the huge crystals, there was also an observatory. A wise man would probably ask the scientists exactly what he had first. Hmm. How wise was he? Hmm. I feel that there have been a lot of people throughout history that I just felt like, oh, I'm powerful, let's go fuck everyone around us. Uh, and then utterly failed, but, you know, I think I can go the safe route. As the Farfarer made its way toward the Nexus, Renata could see tiny sparks in the blackness that was the Iblis Stone. As if, somewhere, within it, the core was still spitting out energy, which the Iblis Stone sucked in hungrily. You'd think the stone would want this kind of power, wouldn't it? Thought Renato. Well, the scientists would explain it all. One way or another. Remember, you can always go back and try the, everything again, and I will do it as soon as I played everything else. Um, remember, there are 50 endings, and I do think that number 50 is the is the one. If it is the number one. See? He'd trusted his gut, and it had worked out. That's what it meant to be a hero. To ignore <laughs> the naysayers and the odd makers, and do what you knew was right, and have it turn out to be the right thing. But oh, he wasn't worried. Once he got to the observatory, the scientist toads could explain it. Then he could carry the war into the enemy's camp and destroy them all. Oh dear. He was getting a little bloodthirsty, wasn't he? Afraid so, yes. Ah, so that's why you... Oh, shit. I want you... There. Thank you very much. Anger management? What? <laughs> Alright, thank you very, very much, Kane. Imagine getting a horse up in one of these things. He will be cursing a blue streak. I guess it would be very unnecessary to get a horse up in, on these. Especially since you can't really get into a gallop. Uh, 
Thank you. Thank you very, very much. I'm getting a nasty flag back of uh, what is called Pirates of, Pirates of Caribbean because it has a similar, you know, footwork where you have to. Oh, where you could go. Renata felt ready to become faster, stronger, bolder. If only he could figure out which. Well, you actually could, you know, you you parry that guy and you jump back and you slash the other guy, or you slash that guy and then you jumped over and slash that guy. At least in the PC version, you could do that. I seen the Xbox version. You just press a button and that's it, really much. Um, shield hook. Okay. Right, so, um... Cool. Wish I could do that. You the narrator, or were you talking for... <laughs> for that guy? Bernardo had never felt better in his life. Normally, a battle would wear him down, and he would need a night's sleep. Now, he felt like he could go all night and all day. He felt like people were cheering him on, and he could practically hear their applause as he slew one raven after another. Really? Where the fuck am I? What else could you hook? A woman? Ooh, maybe not. No, no. Or, or a lad, I don't know. I'm, I'm not the one to judge, I think. No. A little bit of hunting. Ow. Right, so... Thank you very much. The Iblis Stone and the Skyripper Core. Two artifacts from the time of legends. Bernardo was becoming a legendary hero, wasn't he? He had enough power to save the rebellion, but he had to understand this power so he would not misuse it. Exactly, just what I was thinking of. Sort of. Ah. Uh... Right oh let's go, shall we? By the way, I would not be able to take all those stairs in one go. Maybe I would, but I would <laughs> I would be exhausted. Holy shit. Oh. Ah, hello! <laughs> Funny little mini game, if you wanna call it that. Ah, oh, I, I see, I see, it wiggles as we move along. Interesting, very fun. Oh yeah. Oops, thought Renato. <laughs> Oops! Oops! <laughs> smelt burnt fur. Yes. Yeah, whoops it is. I didn't expect that one. One small step for a fox, he thought. Right on. My bad, whoops. <laughs> Thank you. 
come here. Bugger. Oh, shit. Focus. Okay. Well, not the best, but hey ho, what can you expect from someone like me? Or anyone else? Renato didn't have vertigo. Whatever the fuck that is. Um. Hmm, huh? load of stuff. And observatory, I guess. The toads at the observatory measured the stone with their occult devices. I fed it the core of Sky Ripper, explained Renato. No more TV pattern souls. But the core is not an unlimited energy source, said one toad. Another said, there's a feedback loop, you see, which could overload the stone. If the stone doesn't actually feed on souls, claimed the third, but on pain of killing another sentient being. If you can truly be at peace with yourself, it would not overload. This was all very confusing. At peace? Yes, the mountains were peaceful and quiet, but he now had the power to turn the tides. He should report to the Rebellion Council and prepare for the decisive battle. Would I really sit back if I have to think to actually... Hmm, what would I do? I would probably heed the warnings, <laughs> but... Mm, I didn't come to get that thing just to relax, you know? Renato couldn't make sense of anything the Toad said, and listening to them argue made him restless. The Iblis Stone had made him a power in his own right. The Core had kicked the Iblis Stone out of his head by filling it with more power than it could eat. It was time to meet the leadership of the Rebellion. It was time to go to the ruins where they had hidden their secret base. He was ready for anything the Ravens could throw at him. His sword felt ready too. It seemed to know what he wanted most. This was unnecessary somehow. Yeah, there was one health point. to be something useful in these things, didn't there? One way or another. If I find any a ravens very here, engineer named Elon Muskrat had got his start making floating platforms. Not many people knew that. Well, if you knew how to make these <laughs> damn platforms. <coughs> Reminds me a lot of 
the defenders of the ancients, you know, when uh, you... Well, sure, you have your landscape and all that, but, you know, mostly just walk this path, walk this path. Not really like that, but hey-ho. What were these poles exactly? Parking meters from the time of the lost gods? Huh? What? <laughs> well, let's make a lot of parking meters, shall we? Most likely they're something that you fastened your ship to when you went off. Another one of these. Oh, shit, yeah. Oh well. How could you convince a firewall you're its friend? Stop it. That's how you do it. It feels like I'm going the wrong way, but hey ho. Yeah, most likely is. But, or am I going the right way? I don't know anymore. Ooh. Never mind, I was going the right way all along. This jewel was more than sparkly. It had arcane power and an engraving. To Cindy? To Cindy? What? What? Right, so. Which way was I going again? This one. Alrighty then. I'm just trying my way around. There we go. This was almost fun. Pain of killing another sentient being? What was that dude talking about anyway? He felt no pain, only pleasure as each filthy raven fell by his sword and the stone glowed brighter and brighter. And all oh. the while, those voices were cheering him on like he was in the arena, winning bout after bout. <laughs> People still use doorknobs. Oh, 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 am I dying? Fuck. Damn. I couldn't move, really. But then again, I guess I pressed something that I shouldn't. I think I just boned myself. Yeah, about that. I think I locked it instead.
Yeah, I may have locked it. Oh, I was already open. Oh well. Oh, this is getting hard. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. stairs. So he was close to the rebel base. Nothing was on fire. So far so good. Yeah, but the ravens are here, so you know. Yeah, there, he cleaved it in fucking two. I'm gonna need any mouse after this. That's how you do it. Hello. Hello. Oh, it's raining outside. Lovely. Hmm. Hero wall. Hero sword. Ice wall. Ice cube. Um, doubt it, but anyway. He slew and slew across the ruins and into the labyrinth that hid the secret rebel base. He was surprised not to see any defenders or even any of the council toads. When he reached the council chambers, there were still no toads, only filthy ravens. Stop him! He's gone mad! One raven shouted until he had hacked them all down. There was not uh -oh. a single toad anywhere. No doubt they'd all been taken prisoner. So it was up to him to take revenge upon the Imperial fleet. But where had they taken the Council? It couldn't be good that the Empire had not only found the secret rebel base, but killed or captured everyone there, no matter. He was on a roll. He headed full speed towards the Imperial fleet. He would be the fox who took down 100 warships. He charged. Uh, oh. So we have a stone that gets overloaded by killing and we are attacking an imperial fleet right right this just spells good 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 all over my book I remember this the imperial fleet was huge and deadly but he was deadlier the crowd was cheering him on he could practically hear it Renardo the hero of the rebellion. Hmm. Upgrade or what do you do? You. I think a save actually. Yeah, I remember this.
I may have gone there too fast. Don't get ahead of yourself, lad. I wish I could. I wish I could. Uh, let's see. There we go. There's 61 of them. Wrong guy. Okay, I already got it. Shield. <laughs> hmm. Where did that go to? Wherever it goes, it will take me there. Hello. Yeah, now we're on the fleet area. Yeah. I knew it would belong somewhere here. I heard that, uh, not heard, but I saw, I read somewhere that this guy actually makes an appearance in another game that is awfully lot like um, well, what is it Renato called? Had always wanted a flying carpet. This was. More like a flying tabletop. But it would do. Tabletop. Right. <laughs> Get out of my ship. Fuck, not even Star Wars could make this scene epic with all its ships. Or maybe they could. I think they can, yes. As he slew his way across the fleet, Renata thought he could hear a small voice whispering in his ear. Look at your gauntlet, you idiot! It said. Oh, for heaven's sake, he thought. Can't I be alone in my own head? <laughs> Look at the stone. I'm busy, he told the voice. Talk later. Then it will be too late, cried the voice. Don't be so bloody thick. Piss off, he told the voice and kept up his slaying. He wished there were more pylons he could use the hook on. They really needed to construct additional pylons. <laughs> right. Okay, so I almost have enough ore for that sword. The sword, but the sword. Come on, there we go. Oh, 
That was close. Wow, look at that massive sh broadside. Wow. Is that fire? Oh well. Need to warm yourself Soon somewhere. Soon he'd confront the Emperor. Funny that this whole war had come about because the Emperor feared death. And now it was coming for him. There was some sort of lesson there, wasn't there? Who the hell are you? Ooh. Righty there. There you are. Whoops, not you. There we go. Yippee-ki-yay! Yeah. Oh, wow! Hello! And it just opens up, like, sure, why not? You go right in. Right this way, sir. There was the Emperor. Renato cut down his elite guard. The exalted Toad cowered fearfully. He had sought to evade death and only made death come to him faster. Renato savored the moment. And then, too quick, it was over. He stood over the dead emperor. Death to tyranny! He shouted. Go, Habs, go! Zenobia what? stepped out of the shadows. Go you ahead. have to stop, she said. You killed everyone. Our ravens, your rebels. You murdered the whole rebel council. What? What? Oh, the ravens killed the council. Yeah, big idiot. They don't even know what the secret base is. Shouted Lapino, who was with her for some reason. Look at the stone said Zenobia. It was black as night. Blacker. But I fed it the core, said Renato. It was glowing. Well, who needs a core, he said, and he attacked. Zenobia conjured her best, and Lapino hopped around like a mad rabbit, <laughs> but he killed them both easily. <laughs> I am unstoppable, he orated at the blood-soaked walls. I alone shall be emperor! The tiny voice inside him screamed. That doesn't even sound like you, you big fanny. The stone has stolen your mind. But he ignored it. Who listens to voices in their heads anyway? Madmen, that's who. Bernardo stared at the book. He was still alive. Again. And still only flying away from burning Ubar. Had he lived that adventure, or only dreamt it? Had he really died? It felt so real, not like a dream at all. And he'd lost again. Oh, he hated that. But he had made different choices, and he'd lost in a different way. It was the book, wasn't it? Oracles showed you your destiny, but this... This was showing him different ways he could die miserably. Thanks a bunch, book, he thought. But these were destinies that he did not have to fulfill. But he'd learn another true thing. The Iblis Stone was evil. It would try to corrupt anyone who used it. It was a really interesting story, actually, with, uh, you know, where the stone is like, well... Uh, I don't know, but you know, it would be a very good story actually if if you ever got to like write it down, <laughs> you know, uh, that uh, 
I don't know what to say, but you know, I like the concept of the stone just being this, uh, you know, go and kill those people over there and, you know, you will go stronger. I will go stronger, but, you know, I, I like the concept very, very much, actually. It's, I, I liked it. There we go. Another truth learned? So that one first. Find the gem, find the core, meet the sciences, meet the council. Well then, I still think that this is the uh, original me, you know, that's... Always go back to your first choices and that you know who you really are. Um, so yeah, uh, I will continue but this. that meant there must be a destiny where he survived and won, right? Uh, otherwise, what was the point? And with that, the book's pages fluttered back once more to the beginning and... The clouds parted over the Isles of Boreas. It was time to choose. The rebellion was in trouble. Ravens were scouting for the secret rebel base. They needed a game changer. Pieces of the Sky Ripper had surfaced. Or so a scholar in the mountains had told him. Surely the weapon that banished the lost gods could defeat the Emperor. Also, a temple had risen out of empty desert. The Iblis Stone was hidden there. It was a dangerous artifact. It could corrupt its user into a bloodthirsty monster. Maybe he could find a way to use it. To take its power without surrendering to its wickedness. And also, his old friend Lapino needed rescuing. Of course, Renato had a pretty strong suspicion that Lapino had betrayed the rebellion. But could Renato really leave an old friend to the Ravens? All right, there's only one to shoot. <laughs> Every child knew about the Sky Ripper. The Transcendent Emperor had buried its pieces. What could have brought them to light? This Emperor, Isengrim III, had once been kind, but he'd gone mad. And now he was conducting secret, obscene rituals to bring back the Lost Gods. Had he, somehow, summoned the long-lost components of the legendary weapon out of the deep places of the Earth? It was more than Renardo could fathom. But if he could find a legendary weapon, he would use it. I like this game because it's, you know every choice you make, you know especially now at the second uh, this uh, with the stone that every choice you make will have impact further As on. He set foot in the island, Renato couldn't help feeling a bit curious. Was Lapino still waiting to be rescued? No, he was probably drinking champagne with the ravens. Did. Ravens drink champagne. Did rabbits. Renato felt oddly thirsty, come to think of it. Why had he chosen the Sky Ripper? Renato never made plans that required constant vigilance. He was a hero. He didn't think too much. He just went with his gut and hoped it all worked out. The Sky Ripper was a long shot. He'd have to devote himself to it. No side journeys, no rescuing old friends. That was against his nature. Could he stick with it? Well, I want to thank you all for watching. This game is getting better and better. I do remember some game, I think. I think there was another game where it was like the same concept. You know, many ways to play it, but I can't quite remember one. But, you know, I hope you enjoyed it. I most certainly have, and, um, well, I'll see you next time. Bye.